Remember serious. Hey Jason, what do you what do you the real reality outside the simulacrum look like? Our real bodies. That's a good question. But I'm I'm here with you, and I can all I can do is 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 basically a conjectural explanation. I believe maybe our avatars are very different, but our personalities are just like our personalities now. Our personal our personalities they're immortal. They have nothing to do with the brain, which is a which is an information processor. It has nothing to do with the central nervous system, which is nothing but the neural link, the cerebral interface between the psyche and the simulation. Our personalities are very unique. Our abilities and intuition are phenomenal. The very act, very act of having an imagination to build informed fields without moving your avatar. To sit here and not do anything, but just with the force of imagination, construct things. Have a good blueprint in your mind of, of what something should be. Even imagine how it smells. All of that is spiritual. Every bit of it. Intuition, empathy, and imagination are what make you immortal and spiritual. And these help you develop an eternal personality. When, when the simulacrum collapses, these avatars go with it. It's all, it's all programming. All the books behind me, this ancient 500-year-old gold leaf map, everything you see, uh, my cheap little studio, everything's gone. Except the personalities. And we reappear in the real universe. But I believe that the real universe is very, very similar to what we're experiencing now. Yes, from inside the simulacrum, we're on a flat plane under a dome. 100%. But are but is it the same way outside outside the construct? Outside the construct, could there be stars and worlds and, 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 and black holes and all that? Could there? I don't know. We really don't know. It could be something so far beyond our imagination, but I don't think it is. Because a a simulacrum, which just means a copy of something else, it's a real word in the Oxford English Dictionary. Why build a simulation that's not a copy of a real world? What are you going to gain? What are you going to learn? How can you apply what you learn into a different biosphere? It's not relative anymore. So you make a copy that is absolutely perfect to the original. Because in that way, whatever you discovered and whatever you achieved in, in the construct could be replicated on the outside with the exact same methodology. To have a different universe outside the, the simulation doesn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense. A total waste of experiment, waste of energy. But So I believe that, yes, we, we probably look. Now, I'm going to go a little bit deeper, and some of you are not going to like this. But I'm not going to keep nothing away from you either. There is every possibility that the simulated existence we are suffering through right now was absolutely necessary because we are already trapped inside of a simulation outside of the simulacrum and we're trying to find ways to escape it without letting it know we're trying to escape. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you rewind this video a few times to process that because some of you will.